What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a few of the individual um, components of this. Okay, so let's go uh, look at the tier one training section here. Um, here's just an example of some of the PDF guides that are here. We have a ton of PDF guides. I don't even know how many that is. Now. It's like 18 different PDF guides, all thing, and we're doing the same thing with the videos, okay? The next thing I want to show you is Project Genesis, okay? Or Keyword Genesis, actually. I'm not going to get into using this right now, but what Keyword Genesis does is it's a tool where it goes and calculates based on a number of factors. Um, keywords to go target within the um, the app store and the android store so it's, it's kind of like keyword research 2012 or keyword research for um for mobile for mobile apps basically you put in your keywords you find your niches and it tells you you know if that's a good niche people are searching for it on the app store and if you can compete it or if it's overly competitive so that that's essentially that it's a very very important thing to have um because you know or else we're gonna have people going and building um, apps um, that aren't gonna get any downloads okay now what I want to do is I'm going to go and show you Sky Builder Cloud um, and go build an app for you. Now you see here we have two things, Sky Builder Cloud and Sky Builder SMB. Okay, they're very, very similar. They're actually, you know, the gut's the same thing, but it, our presentation of them is just slightly different, okay? Um, and our training on how to go use them because we know it's just as important, you know, the actual software is in the training and the framing on how to go and get our clients to go and use it, okay? Um, the difference is, is uh, they both build apps, but SkyBuilder Cloud um, is designed for people to go build niche apps, okay? So in a minute, I'm gonna go build an app on Rihanna. It's gonna be a Rihanna, for guys you don't know, Rihanna is a, a pop singer. It's really, really popular. Billions of people love her music, okay? Um, I'm gonna go build a niche app on Rihanna, all about Rihanna, all the people that love Rihanna. Um, and, and I'm gonna build that with SkyBuilder Cloud. And what I'm gonna do in my example is I'm gonna go upload that to the um, to the Android store and I'm gonna make money on that via ad mob and via push notifications. I'm probably gonna give it away for free. So this is the short, sweet, simple way where you know a customer shows up, they go and buy SkyBuilder, and they're like, okay, great, what do I do now? Um, you know, fast as possible, no effort, no nothing. We're gonna have them use SkyBuilder SMB, we're gonna have them build a niche app, and then we're gonna have them submit it to the Android store. Now, the first question in your mind is going, well, what about the app store? What about the app store? It's hard to get in, are they gonna accept these apps? Yeah, yeah, we know the question, we, we, believe me, we know it, okay? Um, the thing is, is if you're building um, a niche app, like with SkyBuilder Cloud, and you're gonna to try to submit it to the app store just off the shelf, um, you're gonna to have to go through some rounds of submission with them. Um, that's just that's just the reality of things. There's no magic push button uh, creator that's gonna go and get niche apps approved in the app store. So um, if, you're, if your customers um, are smart and clever and tenacious, they're gonna be able to do this and they're gonna be completely fine on it. Um, if you know they're, they're having trouble, they're just trying to follow directions and don't really know what's going on, we have a whole nother path for them. We're not even gonna tell them to go and put these on the app store because we know they're gonna get denied at first and then they're gonna get frustrated and we don't want that. So we're gonna guide them to put them on the Android store and we found through AdMob and um, push notifications, you can actually do quite well with monetization. We kind of consider it um, these niche um, these niche apps on the and Android store, MFA 2012. Um, for those of you that know what MFA is made for AdSense. Remember, remember those days? It was back in the old days, we just put up a bunch of sites and just made tons of money on AdSense. Well, you know, it's kind of like that right now with niche apps on the on the, uh, on the the Android store and on the App Store for the people that are clever enough to get it in. So we kind of give you the tools for that. Okay, SkyBuilder SMB, it's essentially the same thing, but we have templates for people to go build apps for like you know, real estate agents, dentists, you know, that, that, kind, that kind of thing, all this sort of small business thing. And we go and give them training on how to go out there and get a client and charge them 500 bucks or charge them 2000 bucks to build the app for them. Um, and it's very, very cool stuff. And we don't charge the people per app that they build, which is very, very cool. Um, we just simply go and charge them for the license and they can go and build unlimited apps uh, based on their apps. And that's a huge thing. If you look around the market, look at similar things. Um, it's a total no brainer. We give them unlimited apps, like bam, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and show you the app building uh, dashboard. You know, Sky Builder Cloud, it kind of launches in a new window. Okay, this is your basic dashboard. You can see here, app dashboard, create a new app. You know, do I wanna edit some of my old apps or preview some of my old apps? I'm an old Steve McQueen fan. For those of you guys old enough to know who Steve McQueen is, or cool enough, he was the king of cool back in the day. Um, there's also the Apple profile. Um, I'm not gonna go through this right now. Um, but you know, um, 
but I'll just show you that um, we've designed it so people that don't have Macs can go and submit um, to the App Store through our Apple configuration. Um, and there's no per fee, per app fee submittal or anything like that. It's just, it's just basically use this and you don't have to have a Mac. So for people that don't have Macs, we make it very, very simple. Um, just follow the directions, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new app right now. I'm just gonna try to be this brief. Um, I'm sorry, there's a little blank space where the training videos in. Those will be on later today. Um, we're, we're putting training videos on each one of the pages so um, the clients can go and um, can go can go through them each, okay? So um, the first thing we're gonna do is um, enter the title of the app. So I'm gonna, remember I was gonna do on Rihanna, so I was like, Rihanna exposed, okay? Um, so app description's all about Rihanna, okay? And then we need an app icon. I just so happen to have a little Rihanna icon right there. Wow, go figure. And you know, do I want this for iPhone or Android? Um, again, since I always want to get this up really, really quick, I'm just gonna do it for Android for now, okay? And that's how we're gonna recommend the customers to start, okay? Um, next thing is, you know, like Rihanna, Rihanna Expose 2012. This is going to be what's on the splash screen. And then what photo do we want? Oh, look, I have another Rihanna photo waiting. And why do I have all these photos of Rihanna in my hard drive? Rihanna and there's Steve McQueen up there, okay? Um, yeah. And then we're just going to go hit save there. And now this is where the cool stuff starts in the app builder. We get to go and select which modules we want to add. So, you know, you can see here a news keyword. So I can put in any sort of keyword for news. Um, and it's going to go automatically go and pull news for that. Um, for you know, for Twitter, for YouTube, you can see we have a, you can do a search by keyword or via account. So I can put a keyword. So I can go search for anybody talking about Rihanna, or I can just put in Rihanna's account and have that linked up uh, directly here. Um, I have local news, local events, local deals, which is going to be keyword targeted, but locally to the excuse me, to the person uh, where their actual phone is. That We have that and GPS coupons. The re one of the important reasons why we put this in is if you go and put localized content into your app, you know, that uses, you know, the, uh, the phone's localization features, what we found is the um, app stores, you know, they're a lot more likely to go ahead and accept that app and, and get your people accepted. So we put those in there and we encourage the, uh, your clients in the training to go ahead and... Uh, to go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to pick some, and here's some other stuff if you're doing like local business marketing. You can have push notification, I mean, you can have a contact form, web pages, opening hours. We have click to call, click to email, and there's ad mob ads, ads down there, and air push ads, which is a uh, push notification pay network, which is very, very cool stuff, okay? So um, let's just pick news, Twitter, uh, YouTube, photo gallery. Um, I'm not going to do local news or events because probably not so much for Rihanna. Again, it just really depends what you want to do. There's, you know, different things. Um, um, we can do push notifications, for example. Uh, photo gallery. Let's just do ad mob as well. Um, let's see why not. We'll do push. Not I'll leave off push notifications for now. And additional WYSIWYG tabs where people can go and put in like dynamic content or something. Um, do I get blog in there? Because if we could do a blog, we can actually get a feed. Yeah, I'm going to do a blog feed in there. Okay. I'm just going to click save. Uh, master keyword. Uh, well, Rihanna. Okay. Uh, master address. Um, this is not applicable for Rihanna app. So because we're not, we don't want to drive them back. We have a bonus, which we're going to be giving some customers um, called um, list building explosion. And that's how to go use these apps in order to go build their lists. If that's the case, we're going to want to stick in, you know, what URL we want to go redirect the people to, to go and opt in, or they can actually go paste their opt in code directly in there. For now, I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, just click save and continue. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the little customize button here um, and you can see it's already filled in the keyword and we can go ahead and change the icons here. We have like a bazillion icons that we've went and pre-installed and you know these are the icons that like go down at the bottom of your iPhone um, or your Android. So let's just find one that's cool for news for Rihanna. It looks like a little news thing, okay? And we're just going to go save and continue. And then you can see here it's giving us a little cursory preview of um, you know, what happens for, for the for the news feed? Okay, look, Rihanna escaped the London Hotel fire. Isn't that really, really cool? Um, all this different stuff, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, so it's, it's funny when you read about Rihanna news. Okay, so we're just going to go return to the, we're going to go return to the tab list there. Let's just go do the same thing for Twitter. 
um, is keyword search or user account. I think Rihanna's user account is pretty cool. So it's just you save and reload and you can see it's gonna dynamically show in there what you know Rihanna's user account. Um, you can see these little scroll bars here. Um, those won't show up in the actual app because obviously we can't have a touch screen, but just on the on the internet preview, that's what we see there, okay? Let's go back to the, the tab list. Uh, photo search, uh, Rihanna, I and mean, we can do a little text and description. Right, this is just a, a general um, keyword search from, from Twitter. So, I mean, that's, that's essentially what you're getting. You could also go and put photo groups from Twitter in there as well. There's Rihanna in concert, I guess, in Germany or something like that, okay? And next thing, YouTube search, again, the same thing. We can go and search, um, we can search by keyword or by account. So this is, you know, obviously all the Rihanna videos, they can go watch it on their phone, okay? Um, um, blog feeds. Um, this is very, very cool. This is actually cool. I went and have one right here, actually. Um, oh, there it is. Ultimate Rihanna RSS. And we'll show your customers how to go find and search for really, really good feeds. Okay. So we simply just go put that in there. Um, and it's going to go automatically display display the blog feeds. Okay. Um, give that a second to load. So you can see, you know, what, what we've done here is we're, we're creating, there it is. Okay. Rihanna leaves her hotel and went to the gym. That's fantastic, okay? But for people that love Rihanna, they care about this stuff. Oh, on June, like the other day, Rihanna left her hotel wearing red, okay? People that love Rihanna wanna know this and you're giving them um, the information, okay? So what we've essentially done um, in all those one, two, three, four, five different things that we've done is we've created um, a Rihanna fan app. It's for people that love Rihanna, that wanna keep updated with Rihanna and want to go and have all the information in the same place. You're like, okay, great, great. So how are my customers going to make money with this? Okay, well we can we can make money in two ways. We can go and charge for the app for people to download it. However, we don't recommend that you know generally unless you know you have your own special strategy. Our blanket strategy is you give these away for free, and you go and monetize via ad mob and push notifications. Okay, which can do pretty well. Now for some of the, you that are in the game, you say, well you know I've tried ad mob and the results aren't great in it. Well that's because you can't go build an app in ten minutes. Okay, so you know if you went and you know if you went and spent you know five hundred dollars, a hundred dollars building an app, and then AdMob only brings you in you know five dollars a day, you're like, okay, great, well that's that's a loss. However, if you spend ten minutes bringing building an app, and AdMob goes and brings you in five dollars a day, you're like, damn, I'm gonna go build twenty more apps. I'm gonna get my outsourcer to go build a bunch of apps. Do you see my point? So so you need to reframe yourself if you use AdMob. I know. Um, it does make money in like that. And we also have the push pay push notification networks. And you can also do your own push notifications on there, which is very, very cool. So in terms of ad mob, um, let me just go ahead and put in my ad mob ID here. Uh, we're just doing one in Android. Um, so let's just type that in there. And then just put a, a filler in for ad mob for publish for iOS. Do we want it at the top or the bottom? I like them at the top. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to go return to tab list and um, save and continue. Um, you know, re reorder the stuff, you know, what order do you want it in? Um, save and continue, very, very cool stuff. And here is your preview. Up oh, there's the baby, Rihanna. And here is a preview of what our app looks like. Um, you know, and you know, if this was a local business app here on the front page, we'd have like click, we could actually have a link right up here on the front page saying click to call or click to email or other different things. But in this app we didn't because it's just an inch app. Okay, so instant access to everything Rihanna. There's you know, that, that tab brings you to the Rihanna blog. Um, wait for that to go and load. Um, you know, Rihanna, Rihanna videos. You, you, know, you know the drill, you know the drill. I mean, so what we've done in just a few minutes, in under 10 minutes, we've built a full-fledged niche app. Now, your customers, um, you know, the ones who you know, are just trying to figure out what's going on in the internet and just want something that works, um, they're going to do well with this by following our directions by going and creating the niche apps, okay? And the customers who, who know what they're doing, they're, you know, they're advanced and they know what to do with this, they're going to ravage this toolkit and they're like, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, okay? Um, you know, then we're just going to go build app. Um, you know, we can do a preview so we can load it directly under Androids or we can do a release build or we can just go preview it there online, okay? So that, um, you know, and then there's the app, then obviously there's the Apple profile and such, okay? So that in a nutshell is Sky Builder. And as you can see, it is bleeping cool. It's, it's just incredible. Um, there's absolutely nothing in the market like this. We, myself and my partner, Michael Sabatini, who's the mobile app wizard, um, you know, we poured everything into this to go and create a completely breakthrough product 
um, in the industry. 